Welcome to BP Reloaded 2011. Um, this is officially, uh, I call this back in the swing of things. Um, probably over a year ago, I started talking with a sponsor and we just kept hammering out details and um, I finally landed a, a, a sponsor to where I got a pretty, I, I got a really good program. And I put a lot of things in place um, that I had already put in place for years. Like, for example, I have like four international tickets that are already paid for. So I can take four trips abroad, um, either to play tournaments or either to, um, to train. And uh, domestically, I have like 10 plane tickets. So this year, I have like 13 trips that I can take to where the trip is already paid for. And and with the sponsors that I have, sponsors plural, I got a lot of sponsors where pretty much my whole year is um, taken care of as far as acting out the lifestyle of a professional player. And once I signed the deal, I said, I need to, to all these people involved need to, need to ask me if I still know how to play. <laughs> Cause like I, you know, uh, I hadn't played a tournament in like a year, you know, but um, I, I kind of get a little bit of a workout from working with uh, some of my students that are, that are uh, a pretty decent level. And uh, I contacted Nelson, you know, actually I coach right beside Nelson. So I just said, Hey, I'm coming out of retirement. When can we get together? And he was like today. And I was like, Shit, like, what do you mean today? Like, I mean, let's sit down in two weeks. He's like, no, Let's work today. So I literally came back to my office, grabbed my gear, went back, um, and uh, we put in um, probably like an hour and 30 minute training session. Um, and, and like Nelson don't play. Like you think if I haven't, I haven't trained since, I haven't put in a full training since October 2009 and it's like April 2011 so over a year and a half I have not put in the full training session he went hard like we call it ham H-A-M he, he went ham he went hard um, and he pretty much didn't hold back I was thinking he was going to let me like get my form don't push my fitness too much and he just went there and I kind of looked at him a couple times like and he was like, no, if you're interested in making the Olympics, we're going to go hard. So as soon as we started playing, he just started moving the ball around and I'm hitting forehands and, you know, like, because I'm really inspired about now I can really act it out. So I just said, okay, let's go there. So we did a little bit of uh, forehand looping and really, like, I really started to feel like, um, you know, it was coming back to me, you know, like, oh, it really just hadn't left, you know. Before 2009, I just stopped training. I just rode my bike, and I got to right at the professional level for road biking, and and, and I'm just under professional level for um, mountain biking. So I just didn't train. I just blocked to my students. But um, 2009 until now, I still played every now and then. But this is my first full-blown session to where I had on the heart rate monitor, heart rate strap, water, shirts, like prepared. Um, so after we did forehand loops, you know, I really felt good. My timing was good. My feel was good. And I, I, I still can't name my sponsor yet. Oh, I'm, I'm just going to make you wait anyway. But the equipment I have is awesome. Like, it's, it's, it's a new technology. I, I can't wait to talk about it once, once we're official. But it is the best sounding cork I've ever had on a rubber. And it's lightweight. That's the most important thing. Like I used energy before, and it just weighed down my hand. And now my my forehand was so much more fluid just because the racket didn't feel so heavy. So after we did forehands, I felt real comfortable. We came with, over to do backhands, and the backhand rubber is a little bit different than the forehand rubber. Um, the sponge I have is a little bit harder. Um, but my backhand felt real fluid. Um, you can check out some of the highlights from from that here. And 
after that, I we came and I did some back end loops. The what I'm doing this time around in, in my career is before I did alternating like hitting and looping. And kind of since then, everybody's kind of gone to looping everything. So this time around, I'm going to structure a lot of my drills to where I focus on doing uh, almost all looping. So even if I push in a person loop, I'm going to loop the ball back. Um, even if um, I'm out of position, the ball kind of can be rolled, I'm going to loop it anyway. So after I did the backhand looping, um, Nelson just likes to play random. He just didn't give me anything uh, structured, so he just started moving the ball around. And really, I, I didn't miss a beat as far as my time, and I really thought I was going to feel like slow because I'm like probably like 13 or 14 pounds overweight, you know, than what I was when I retired. And I'm not sure if I need to be like 192 based on 2004 or if the 13 or 14 pounds is really muscle because I don't really feel like um, like slow or overweight I'm just, you know I could probably lose eight or ten pounds but I probably don't have much more to lose because I just I'm I'm built more like a like a running back than like a, a jockey so I don't have one of those small small kind of bodies um, but I really felt like he couldn't beat me as far as moving the ball away and my feet being slow so I really felt light on my feet. After we did random, we did a little bit of uh, he would just serve and I just started working on, you know, just moving in and out, getting more, more fluid. Uh, probably the two things that uh, have affected me the most from not being able to train is moving in and out and uh, serve return. Just because I hadn't trained with any high level people, I don't know what a really high level serve is feels like as far as contacting my racket and, and and them actually following up on that play. So that's one of the things that I wanted to get comfortable with is just moving in and out of the table um, and kind of getting my instinct back. Like as soon as the serve comes off, is that serve short, deep, or is it medium? And getting more comfortable with kind of playing towards the edge. So that was one of the exercises.
another exercise he did is just um, he'll just give one ball to the middle and then just ran the balls everywhere. This is an opportunity for me to kind of work on just like my instinct and making sure that when the ball lands, my racket is in front of it. When the ball lands, my racket uh, is in front of it. And um, the next drill we did is he just kind of served, um, you know, just... Uh, Underspin and play me random and this was one of those exercises where I was making it a point to do a lot of backhand looping down the line because I think that opens up uh, me getting the kind of forehand that I can capitalize on without having to chase the ball. Before in my younger years I did a lot of chasing. I'd make good loops but I put in a lot of work to get them and this time around I think I'm going to be a little bit more clever and, and let my backhand get in play. And that was pretty much the session. This is just kind of the highlights of the session. And every week, I'm actually going to try to put up a video every week so that we can focus on um, kind of, you know, like where the program is going. Because if I'm going to be doing this, it'd be nice just to have, um, you know, just feedback. You know, just, just the, it, this is what high-level players focus on with their game. And I'm not sure if anybody's ever put up a diary the way they're very, very specific about what they're doing. And that's what... I want to do with this so stay tuned to the next video where I, I got three primary practice partners and that's pro right now that's probably uh, Nelson, Richard and Raphael and uh, Richard has a certain skill set that really helps with where I'm going with the program so the next video I'll try to focus on um, showing a training session you know of me and Richard and, and, and how that benefits where I'm trying to go so Stay tuned. Uh, peace. I mean, pace. BP Reloaded.